Man, how long has it been since season two of Slime? We have been waiting so long and Peak is finally back. Psych, we just did a re-reaction playlist. Check it out for season one and season two content. We're going to season three. I believe we should have a round two versus Hinata Sakaguchi and the church. The trailers are showing us like vampires and stuff like that, right? Should be interesting. Let's begin today's reaction. Octogram. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Why do you need three separate knives? This is some like fancy like highborn shit, you know? Some rich ass people back in the day, they have like like three separate spoons for like different fucking foods, different soups. Like the knives are the fucking same though. Like look at this shit. That's right, new names. Octagram. We can't get drunk though. <laughs> Bro, so fucking soon today. We're supposed to enjoy it. It's like, <laughs> I gotta go fucking, you know, beat more nerds on Reddit for more debates. I'm leaving. Debate Lord. Ooh. <laughs> someone, someone tell Shion to take some fucking notes so the cooking doesn't look so poisonous. <laughs> She's older than you. <laughs> <laughs> classic isekai shit, dude. This is the most classic anime fucking line. I'm the oldest demon lord despite our luck. Yep. Fucking 11 year old fucking Lolly is actually the oldest one because she's technically like a 9,000 year old fucking dragon, whatever, you know? <laughs> You're a zany alcohol? <laughs> Ramana should also be a lightweight, just because she's so tiny. Valentine would definitely like this. He's talking not about Roy, right? It's Luminous, right? Because. And. Maybe I shouldn't ask this. Is Roy actually dead? Laplace beat him up. Laplace, don't spoil me. Laplace just fucking, just fucked him up. <laughs> oh, wait, you guys are saying yes to Roy, okay. They're, they're, they're saying, I don't know what you're saying yes to. When I ask a question, I'm, I'm like asking many questions and people just say yes or no. And I'm like, which answer are you saying? So we just see him die, but they are like vampires, right? And if they're vampires, couldn't, shouldn't they be able to like regenerate and shit like that? I, I, I don't know, but he's talking about Luminous. Right? Yeah, yeah, Luminous, Luminous, Luminous. <laughs> We can recreate these without, without. <laughs> Wait, she don't, she, she, she don't need to cook anymore. I know her cooking tastes good, but like you know, it looks really fucking bad, bro. We can just create this shit. Demons and strategies. Is it CG? I don't know. The walk there was sus. <laughs> uh, he did just return, but god damn! He should say arise. <laughs> Demurus should say arise, dude. Arise! He might actually be the biggest fucking meat rider. I don't think anyone outcompetes Diablo in meat riding Rimuru. Look at the way he's blushing as he's saying, I'm glad you returned safely. Yeah, weren't you supposed to be a foul mute? I'm sure it's already cleared out. Feldera <laughs> always weeping out. Dude, this goblina! Right? What, what's her name? Haruna? What's her name, Haruna? This goblina is like, gets so much focus, right? She, like, she's got to be, because like, I hope that, like, Gopta and Haruna, you know, is, is, is there a ship going on? I don't fucking know, but Haruna is actually getting a voice actor now, because, like, in season one and season two, there's, like, these scenes, there's frames, sometimes just, like, wandering through the village, and then some important characters are showing in. Haruna is sometimes always there. So I'm like, hmm, the author's, like, putting a lot of focus into this specific girl, man. Hmm, the jealous, like, Rimuru. <laughs> What? Haruna goes? Here, Veldora! Here's your jello! 
And then Diablo takes it. And then Diablo says, no. Here you go, Veld. Is he trying to compete right now? Is he trying to straight up trying to get one over HUD on that right now? What is this? Here's your portion. <laughs> Episode zero reference? Yeah, the recap stuff right here that I did not watch. <laughs> Extra portion for Veldra. <laughs> he straight up just, just bribed through desserts. Diablo's just bribing Veldra with desserts, bro. <laughs> he doesn't need to eat? Huh. Did she don't get buffed? Yo, I, 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 I forgot to read the patch notes, but to me, it looks like Shion actually kind of got buffed here, right? I don't know. Maybe it's just this one specific angle, but like, I think that she got buffed. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I, I, was, I, I, I was spaced out looking at Shion's titties. What's Veldra saying about not being able to eat? Rimuri doesn't need to eat either. True. Okay, okay, okay. Focus, focus. Oh, God. She won't popped off. I don't know about that, but she won't actually did pop the fuck off in Water Purgus Rude. She won't just straight up just like demolish Clayman before Clayman transforms. So I think that's a huge dub for Shion. We made uh, Yom the King, right? <laughs> Snitching? <laughs> so soon today. No pudding? No dessert? Oh, our Tsundere dragon. Yom's got it, right? <laughs> I just find it hilarious how much like Shion's trying to compete with Diablo because like when I'm thinking of like the comparison between these two all I can think about is like the power scaling but like yes they are like secretaries right? and she just shits out on so much it's pretty funny <laughs> no way Diablo and Shion you know it's like the same level but they have the same kind of job original forms <laughs> Lumps of flesh, she returned. Bald! Baldy! Remember Baldy? I skimmed it. Wait, what's going on here? Dia? Shion interrogated? This is the family's people that we killed, right? And this is Shion's skill? This is Shion's skill? Shion did that to them. What? 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 what what's, what's, what's specifically of Shion's skill? It was the interrogation episodes that we skimmed through. Okay. Shion's master chef ability is able to rewrite the laws of their body. And it's basically just turned to these like lumps of flesh. And <laughs> that's fucked up. Master chef. What in the fu- I mean, this is kind of ingredients, I guess. She did cook it up, yeah. Master chef. <laughs> One piece? Lord Diablo, shut up, trash. Dude, because this is Sugu get, uh, uh, fuck, 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 ghetto. Suguru ghetto, right? It's his voice actor, the way he's just like, shut up, trash. Fucking monkeys. Ruffin! <laughs> so this is why you guys kept fucking typing ramen, ramen in their season two reactions. And I'm just fucking looking at chats like, are you guys fucking dyslexic? It clearly says Razen. Ramen has never been mentioned. Diablo says ramen in season three. So you motherfuckers are spoiling for me the entire fucking time. Shame. It was an interrogation episode too. Yeah, we skipped over it. Yeah. Dude, he put a magic barrier up to just fight barehanded. She overdid it. One of the seven. I thought it was, uh, you guys already told me about this. I asked about how many uh, primordial demons there were. And I think someone mentioned this number before. But yeah, there is seven. We so far know 
Uh, black, noir, right? Uh, uh, Kuro, Diablo, right? Uh, Gee Crimson is red, Rouge, right? We know of Misery and the other girl. Basically, green and blue, right? Which is the maid of uh, Gee Crimson. And then there's three more colors. We don't know these uh, three more yet. I'm going to assume there's got to be like a white, right? I mean, I, if there's like a noir, I'm going to assume that there's like a... Is it seven? Oh, if it's the colors of the rainbow. Black is not a color of the rainbow? <laughs> no. So if, it's, if we're going to avoid the rainbow stuff, then maybe in like white. Blanc? I could, I could believe that. And yes, I think uh, we're going to watch the, um, the Tensura uh, Visions of Kali. Visions of something. We're going to watch all three episodes tomorrow, most likely. Tomorrow's like an empty day for us, so we're going to watch that. I saw some people post that shit. I think Neil Desai made a video, and I saw like, Primordial Demons! And I'm like, oh shit, okay, all right. This looks like good content. We'll check it out, we'll check it out. Yeah, that slime you were looking down on. Y'all fucked up. Y'all fucked up. <laughs> and then that's the interrogation part. And then she used Master Chef, and they all pretty much got put into fucking, you know, in, like little ingredients in the box, right? <laughs> Lowest ring servant. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> Diablo's forming his own fucking group already? You would mass genocide on Falmouth? <laughs> Alright, Baldi's surviving. You know what? This might be actually pretty good. I think this could be really helpful, right? I like, like fuck the Falmouth people, but if he's an archbishop of the Western Holy Church, and if we're going against the Western Holy Church this season, this is actually pretty good information that we can get out of him. I think this could be actually helpful. <laughs> What happened to his eye, dude? Shion, what the fuck? What'd you do to his eye? Last king of Falmouth. Last king. Damn. But Diablo is making fucking moves, man. Tempter. Bitch, preventing. You didn't explain it. Tempter. What? Don't, don't, don't spoil. But tempter. What does that mean? It's probably tempting. Tempts people to do things. Huh. Hmm. Preventing betrayal is a simple matter because you can tempt them to not betray. <laughs> oh, yeah, whatever you say, bro. I mean, to him it is. Look how big this place is. Still fat. <laughs> Bald. Wait, wait, wait. Called the sack, sorry. It's pretty shiny. He's got, it's got a nice polish here, man. I, I want to know what product he's using to give this kind of glare, but... Bro, <laughs> King Edomotis is just in this little box, though. We haven't even formed him as a fucking human. He just gets on the throne and he's like, Sorry, guys. It's over. It it's a fucking wrap. We got this new guy, Yong, though. He's pretty cool. He's a king now. Dragon Factor. New lore, I didn't know about this. Dragon Factor. The dragon will simply be reborn elsewhere in the world. So whenever a dragon dies, it's a fake story. But still, the Dragon Factor must exist though, right? Even if it's a fake story. Does the Dragon Factor exist? Is this trying to just cap? Is this like fake lore? I don't know. Dragon Factor does exist. This is a fake story we're telling them to convince them. But Dragon Factor does exist. Gotcha. Got it. Maybe only true dragons? Who knows, huh? But if it does exist, that's very interesting. And remember, keep in mind, who... Uh, the Chaos Dragon. The Chaos Dragon is still sealed, right? I st we still gotta remember that. Remember Milim's um, dad, who is technically Veldora's older brother. Milim's... Meaning the Chaos Dragon is also a true dragon? Has to be, right? I don't know, because like the dad, the older brother made a clone of himself for Milan to have like a little pet familiar and that dragon was the Chaos Dragon and apparently it's like sealed away so that's still in play maybe. But right now we know of Veldora, Velzar, the older sister, uh, Vel, older brother, I don't know who that is, it's Milan's dad, you know, and then we, or is it possible that Veldora's older bro is not a true dragon? 
It's gotta be. But the copies might not True Dragon. I don't know. Anyways, Chaos Dragon. Remember that shit. <laughs> He's got such a... <laughs> He's like, you capping. You capping. <laughs> Look at this guy's fucking stare. Yo! What up, boys? I'm back! ローゼンドの<笑> Let's see the narrative he's got spun up for us. Ah, knowledge of the land, the landscapes, right? The map was bad. Everyone died. Okay. No shot! You're gonna fucking say Yom beat Velda right here. No fucking shot! This is Yom in like Super Saiyan 3 Awakened form. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Rimuru, Rimuru did it. Rimuru. Okay, okay. Rimuru did it. Rimuru did it. I'm, I thought that, like, their idea to make Yom the fucking king of this place is to say, our champion Yom beat Veltara. I was like, oh, wow. He can't be the king now. Wow, what a humble king. <laughs> Diablo loves the story. Even just meeting the magicules? Damn. You dare have them respect to our Lord Rimuru in front of me too. <laughs> Just immediately starts to Done, done. No, no, no. Yeah, we got Trainee and our two sisters. Riot. Bro is actually sweating so fucking hard. Yeah. Wait, I gotta show you guys this, bro. It's straight up this right now. <laughs> Every time, bro. Every time Rosin and Baldi, you know, they're, they're talking and the other people start seeing the talking shit about Rimu, they turn back and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, very strong. Don't fuck with us. True? Y'all fucked up? True? Go so! Diablo is about to fucking pop off, bro. People hear about the fucking that, bro. Fucking Mutant, dude. Mutant's face. <laughs> Clout? Yeah, we homies. <laughs> Carlos, stop! You gonna die? Even Grucius? No, not Gozo! Make me king and everything is good? What's the narrative? <laughs> <laughs> Robin was straight up like, y'all, we gonna die, everybody in this room about the guy, bro! Literally chill, literally chill out, look at mute on dude. Chill, ice, get it? Easy, that was close. No, it's not, it's a lie, but... Evil Dragon's magic tools. Western Holy Church next. It's crazy to think about how, like, they're just, like, shitting their fucking pants, right? These fucking boomers, their diapers are just fucking soiled, just hearing about this evil dragon known as Veldra. And what's Veldra doing right now? Sulking back at home. Reading fucking manga, because he can't get desserts anymore. Crazy, huh? That's crazy. No, Minanomono. Oh, what a sensible gentleman. <laughs> Potion. Oh, it's gonna fix him up?
Magic trick time! It's our full potion, right? 99.9% refined. <laughs> you saved me. Wait, he straight up just fucking plugged a potion, didn't he? He straight up was like, hey! Nice <laughs> potion, use my discount code. <laughs> Diablo for 10% discount off your next purchase. Wow, options? Wow. Live or die? Uh, vassal state. You motherfuckers raided our place and you said the knights captain was the filthy monsters have been defeated. We will be back in a week to finish you off. No, 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 no. We can't do this. Do it. Better do it on it, dude. <laughs> Yes, sir. I will just call this place. I want Diablo to wipe out Falmuth. Yeah, we did. Blame Shion. Yeah, I was wondering why the king was not healed, right? But it's like, if you show the king in that decapitated form, then it is a lot more intimidating. And yes, I have been reading chat. Y'all are saying that the potion was actually a fake ad. Because technically, Diablo has his own magic to kind of heal them back up, right? We saw in the cart. So the potion was, might be just a little bit of... It's, it's false advertisement. I'm sure it helped a little bit, but Diablo pretty much like constructed them back, just like how we did in the carriage. <laughs> yeah, why are you so happy? <laughs> 10,000? 10,000? They'll dress We just basically dump everything onto him. And then when does Yong get in charge? Basically, no more imperial army to face the noble's power. Yeah. Bro should have fucking <laughs> answer. Fucking yo. Dude, bro should have fucking pulled the, the gate emperor. You know how? B basically, it's like the meta is this. You have the empire, but the empire has a bunch of noble great houses. And the great houses, if they get strong, they can, you know, revolt against the empire. So what you got to do is you fucking cull, right? You got to fucking make the great houses kind of fight against each other. Or you got to get rid of each other and kind of make them weaker so the empire stays in strength. But let's see what's going to happen to yo. Is it actually Napoleon Bonaparte reference? Yeah? So uh, Yeah, yeah. She don't got no idea. <laughs> Whoa, Raphael, ultimate skill, Raphael. Wow, look at this. Perfect use of ultimate skill. Wow. It's better than the Waga Odyssey. And that's the episode. Hey, today's episode was kind of heavy on the world building, the politics part, right? But it's a necessary recap. Not really a recap, but to reintroduce exactly what happened at the end of season two, right? So what happened at the end of season two? We had the octogram meeting, right? We had a we had the wild progress, you know, dinner stuff. But Leon is too much of a sin today. He's just going to fucking leave. He's got more people to debate on Reddit. And, you know, he's got to fucking win the arguments, right? Cool to see other demon lords kind of hang out right in peace. So we're kind of chilling. The octograms. We're being chilling. Well, Luminous is, you know, we might have to get rid of her because it's against the church this arc, right? Haruno! Haruna? Haruna! Goblina! Actual voice acting now. She's got lines. She's... I hope Gopta and Haruna might be a little something, bro. I don't know. They keep showing her around. Veldera just gets fucking bribed by desserts, bro. I can't believe this fucking evil dragon that everyone's so terrified of is just a weeb. It just gets bribed by fucking snacks. Imagine the people of Falmuth just, just like... Seeing this happen, right? Veldra just sulk sulking over fucking no, you know, desserts. It's like, it's so crazy just how other people perceive Veldra and how Veldra is when he's around, right? 
I think today's episode was a Diablo episode, right? I think that Diablo is, you know, we didn't see exactly what happened at families because the goal was to basically um put a puppet in charge, right? Yom is now going to be the champion to a king of families, right? And we get to see exactly what's going on at Falmuth while we were at Walpurgis. Diablo actually has Ramen and the Archbishop and even King Edomar is under his rule. This is crazy. And he did say there's a unique skill called Tempter. And he says this skill allows... It, it would be hard for them to betray because of the skill Tempt. And they haven't really explained it yet. No spoilers, but it seems fucking OP. This whole, you know, fake story and the way that everyone was crying, not crying, but like sweating buckets. Every time Rimuru would be disrespected, people would look back and Velder, sorry, Diablo is just so fucking mad. So funny. Actually so funny. And I think this is like peak isekai world building where you can have an entire fucking episode just around just talking to these boomers. And just, the, and just like the politics, right? And like the diplomacy stuff. Yet it's so entertaining because the world building in the show is so good. Some people might not be, you know, interested in this kind of stuff. They just want to see all the hype fights. But I think this is one of the strong Switch of Slime. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.